This year's Geneva Motor Show saw a couple of interesting world premieres from the Volkswagen Group. Amongst them was the C20V20 concept that is basically telling us what to expect when the upcoming crossover from the Spanish company will come out. We've seen the mules testing the future chassis for the Volkswagen-owned brand more than once but now we just received a new set of photos of something different. Or is it? In the adjacent spy shots, you can clearly see a Skoda Yeti out testing, posing as if nothing out of the ordinary is happening. Take a closer look and you'll notice that this is no random Skoda. The car looks wider and considerably higher than the current Yeti. These changes are significant when put into context with the MQB platform, which VW wants to use on a seven-seat crossover in 2016. Furthermore, the current version just received a facelift IN2013 and there's no way the car will get all of these goodies as part of a second refresh it's not Skoda's way. So, what are we looking at? Most likely, Skoda's range of SUVs will be changed completely, with the smaller Polar subcompact making room for a substantial Yeti with a longer chassis. Production of a seven-seat crossover in the Czech Republic has already been confirmed, though it's likely to be called the snowman come production time. Well, the Polar has a chassis that will be shared with a couple of new models from the group and one that was silently confirmed by Volkswagen not too long ago. If we're to make a bet, we'd say this mule isn't the Skoda Polar, a new crossover from the Czech manufacturer that will fit in the A-A0 class alongside the similar offering from the Spaniards based on the Evisa, the Volkswagen Tiguan and Audi Q1. You should know that Skoda already trademarked the name back in 2014 and that they plan to launch the new model in 2016 as part of the VW Group's offensive in this segment.